hello and welcome, namaste to you. When I teach yoga exercises, I see the body in many pieces like links of a chain. One weak link affects the whole body. For example, the low back is affected by the hamstrings and the abdomen. Usually when there's trouble brewing in the back, we get a clear message through aches, through muscle pains, through tightness that says, pay attention to me right now. The upper body is more subtle. It is the caretaker of the spark held within each breath called life. Lack of muscle tone and flexibility in the neck and in the shoulder girdle, the rib cage, affects our respiration. Recent research now shows the interrelationship between respiration and brain circulation, metabolic activity, and psychological functioning. And with slight modifications in your breathing patterns, you can make a positive difference in your health. So keep on listening throughout all of these classes for little tips on breathing. There is so much class that is written about breathing and we can't get it all in at once, so do keep listening. One little thing we can do just right now is you who are sitting right in front of me now, sitting on a couch perhaps, or maybe you've cleared away the coffee table and we're sitting together and I'm so glad that you're there, is to sit tall and sit comfortably chair, whatever it is for your knees, and place the hands on your earth. Pretend. This might be the floor and it might be the carpet. But just, just sitting tall, place the hands on the earth, close your eyes, and just bring your attention to your fingertips. And exhale and inhale out through the bottoms of your hands. Yes, it's your imagination. But it is that reconnection. It's that bringing yourself back into balance. And we'll begin by starting with just what I said, by raising the shoulders and lowering the shoulders, all with the idea of how we can open the chest, bring more spaciousness to this very important part of the shoulders, the chest area. Keep going, raising the shoulders up and down, breathing in through the nose, up. Should feel very good. This sort of helps to release some of the stress that's in the trapped in our muscles and let's do a little shoulder rolling good so sort of listening to your body as to how far you can go a lot of what we're going to do this morning is helpful for arthritis in the shoulder area and no pain here you just kind of go through a little discomfort and then back off of it won't you good and let's go in the other direction i'm listening to my body as to how far i should go Good. Now I'm going to just turn sideways so that you can see just the back of my shoulder area and doing a blade squeeze and release. This isn't a link that you'll hear worked on is squeezing the shoulder blades, blade squeeze and release. You'll see us in a few moments. We'll work with it and see how important it is. All right, let's breathe in and release. Now, Let's do something that adds a little very simple breathing, and I just call it chicken wings for nothing else, but it's probably one of the bases for many of the African dances that ah, give energy. Just putting the hands on your shoulders and just touching the elbows for a moment and exhaling. And inhaling as you open. Exhaling. Sit at the edge of the bed. Keep going, sniffing. Exhale. Inhale. You can sit at the edge of the bed and sort of start your day with a little breath, but no dizziness. Stop if that happens. Keep going. Good. And shaking the arms. Just raising the arms above the head. A good wave. And down you go, letting everything sort of flop. Nobody can see you, right? All right, Garuda, and I'll stop here. Just feel, ah, tingling pulsation in the arms, increase of, of circulation, Garuda arms. Raise both arms up so you're really clear about this. It's very easy to get confused. Cross right elbow over the left, all right? Either place the hands, palms, the back of the hands touching, or entwine the fingers, or intertwine the fingers and then raise the elbows up and down. Now it's key though that you don't 
strain. I've given you three choices. You take the one that's right for you. Good. Up and down a hold for a second. And turn to look over one shoulder. Back to center. Look over the other shoulder. And feel all the neck muscles that you are stretching here. Back to center. Now I have my right elbow. I'm going to bring it over my head. All right, see that then the left hand is to the elbow and just pull it to the center. This is called head of a cow. I'm not quite sure why. Perhaps this is one of the horns of a cow. All right, now, and just stretch to one side and back. And the, uh, this, I'm going to the left. This is my right elbow as I just go, just stretching slowly. Listen to the body and lean slightly forward so there's no strain in your back and then we'll do this on the other side. Before you go, can you feel the difference in one arm compared to the other? That's important to feel. Always keep identifying, feeling where you are, not doing anything unconsciously. All right, both arms up for a second, hands up. Cross left over right. Choose whichever hand position is comfortable for your shoulders at this point. Everybody's tight in their shoulders. Wrap it around, palms together. I like this one. And then I get a little torque here, right? Two hands press. Relax them, relax, relax, relax the shoulders. Intertwine the fingers is more intermediate. All right, both elbows up and both elbows down. Go slowly. You can feel the whole shoulder girdle, the back of your shoulders stretching. Nice to do before tennis, before golf. Raise up, but go slowly, just like that, the backswing in golf. Nice and easy. All right, now here's the left elbow. Lift the arm up. Scratch your spine as if you're going to scratch your spine and then bring this elbow to the center of your head. Sit tall, no struggle. All right, let's take a breath in. The palm of my hand is scratching my spine. Breathing in and exhaling out. All right, and then lowering the arms and just do a little shake of, of the arms and shoulders again. How about a sound? Ah, good. It's also, a marvelous breath is to groan a little bit. We just hold an awful lot of that kind of thing inside of us. Shoulder rotation. I'll turn sideways here, and let's do, we'll start with the left arm. Just put the left arm behind you, fingertips on the floor. I'm going to reach back and find my, my bicep. And notice how I sort of wangled my way into it. If the bicep isn't possible, go down around your elbow. All right? And then sitting tall, fingertips to your floor, pull the shoulder blade back slightly. Good. And then release. This is really the best one, I think, is this shoulder rotation. I'm pulling back. It's that little hinge right here in the shoulders that gets a little rusty. And release. And again, one more time, pulling it back slowly, no pain. You're opening the lobes of the, the rib cage, which brings uh, more space to the inner lobes of your lungs. And then release. And let's do the other side now. I'm going to bring the right arm back, hold on, and sort of finagle it around a little bit. If, it gets, if it's really tight, notice my hands working. All right, and then shoulder back and release, and shoulder back. I'm pushing in with my hand, gets a little leverage, and then release, and last time pulling back, releasing, and now can you grab both elbows, both elbows, or your wrists, or your lower arm, or both elbows, and sit tall, breathing in, exhaling out. Fine, and now release the arms and sitting comfortably. In fact, straighten your legs. And let's just massage the thighs and your knees. And the knees, good. Get, that, this just helps get a little extra circulation going. Use all the fingers here. And we're going to do anterior pose. An anterior pose stretches the legs out in front of you and place your hands in stick pose. Fingertips face the wall behind you, and you sit tall. Legs are straight out in front of you. And we're going to do the first anterior pose without any interior work. So you can see the difference of one to the other. All right, just follow along with my words. 
the legs are straight, push down in the heels and slowly lift the hips up so that the body forms a straight line. Do not drop your head back and just look at your toes, pause and sit down. Now let's try the anterior pose now with more internal work. And here you just pull the shoulders back, increase your blade squeeze, the breastbone is lifted and you breathe in, exhale and lift from your collarbones and look at your toes and feel how different the posture was to get into by using this great lever of the chest. Let's try it one more time and we'll do a little leg raise here. All right, so, and have some fun with this, with just as a little practice. Now start from increasing the blade squeeze, shoulders rotated back. Press down on the heels and take a good breath in. Lift on your exhalation, lift up. Good, pausing here, and if you'd like to try it with me, extend one heel up, that's my power foot, as I lift the leg up, and down, and the other leg up, try to keep the hips up, and down, and come out of the position. Good, rub the, the eyes again, and sit facing me. I know that was a big posture to start off with, but I couldn't resist. A little neck tilt, which sort of brings things back into quietness, uh, is just by placing the fingertips to the floor for a moment, and we'll, we'll go to the right. And the right ear to the right shoulder, you just go to your right. Right ear, right shoulder, and now let the whole left side of the neck stretch out. Lean slightly forward so there's no tension in your lower back. All right, back to your center, and now we'll just smoothly go into Atlas Pose, which is a little bit more of what we've been doing. Sit tall, right ear, right shoulder. Now slide this right hand out to the side, to the side, to the side. Place your hands on your rib cage, and just collapse a bit and pull back. So you get a little movement going. After you've been holding things statically, it's nice to move, exhaling out and pull back. Now, left hand, left ear, elbow back, and then slowly stretch and stretch. Try to keep on your sitting bones. Back to your center, breathe in, stretch up with the arm, breath in, and exhaling, let the arm float down. And we're going to go one more step further. Keep on your sit bones, all right? You know where they are. All right, we're going to slide the right hand back this time, Left arm goes up and to the side, and slowly, you're just stretching to the right, but notice how my hand, the right hand is palm up, and you're leaning forward, and this looks very easy if you're just watching, but actually, it's a challenge to try to keep on your sitting bones. Back to center, and we'll do neck tilt now to the opposite direction. All right, sit tall, left ear, left shoulder, and let the right hand just be nice and uh, it's really like a leverage. It just stretches the right side of the neck. Good, you're breathing comfortably and you're on your sit bones. Now we're gonna smoothly go into Atlas posture. Bend your elbow, put the right hand right rib cage. Notice that the elbow is in close to the floor as you exhale and just drop forward. Inhale, pull back. Exhaling forward, mm, should feel good. Relaxing the back that's been working. And last time, exhaling as you go forward. And back and right hand to the right ear. Good, elbow back, straightening the arm. And you can look underneath the arm if you like. Breathing comfortably as you're holding. Then back to center, and we're gonna do that side stretch which is placing the left arm back behind you, palm is up, and you stretch to your left. Try to keep on your sit bones and lean slightly forward. This is a new posture, actually. We haven't done this in class before. Breathing and then back to center. Sit tall, hold on to your feet for a moment, breathing in. Let's do a ha as you come forward, holding as you come forward. Raise the shoulders up under your ears and shoulders down from your ears, and then sit up. Bend both knees, all right? Sitting up tall. 
straightening the arms out in front of you and just holding for a moment, just holding. Walk the feet in an inch or so. Walk the feet in another inch so it makes the abdomen work for you. All right, still sitting tall and now straighten the right leg out in front of you. Bend the left leg. All right, raise both arms up. Breathe in and exhaling, fold forward. Just put the right hand, right ankle, right elbow against the knee. Again, the hand, this is my left hand to rib cage, and slow return. Look up to the ceiling, breathing in. Exhaling, good sigh out. Ah, out. And smoothly sit up. And this is my left knee, keep it bent for a little twist, and then we'll do the, the whole series on the opposite side. I lift my left arm up, fingertips to the floor. Now you can hold on to the knee or cross your right arm across the chest, elbow to knee, and palm forward. Nice strong position as you breathe in, exhaling, easy twist, not yanking the navel left, ribs left, last is the head, pause and come back to center. Breathing in, sit tall one more time, exhaling, navel left, ribs left, shoulder pull back. There's that little hinge again. Pause, and then back to center. All right, we'll repeat on the opposite side. Again, sit tall, bend your knees, and walk the feet in, in, and in. And then you pause, and just holding. The abdomen is supporting your back and then straighten the left leg. Right knee is bent. How are you doing? All right, just following along, raise both arms up smoothly. Slowing one posture into the other. Exhale, folding forward. Please ease the knees, no locked knees. No need for that at all. It's very gentle on the back. And then left elbow, left knee. Hold on to the ankle. Hand, that's my free hand, right hand, right ribs, as I turn and turn and turn. Look up to the ceiling. Lean slightly forward so you don't strain the back. And now collapse a bit, exhaling and inhaling, going back and back. Good, look up to the ceiling. Holding and then sitting up. And then let's do that twist now to the opposite side. Right knee is bent. Support with the right hand, cross over, and then just hold, good, and then turning, and turning. Pause, and then release, and again, to the right, navel right, ribs right. Applying pressure where the, where the elbow and the knee touch, and then release. Fine. Come up onto your knees for a frog pose. Frog pose, toes are touching, knees are well apart. Stretch the arms out in front of you and just use this as a little transition to come up onto the knees. Turn the toes under and into your dog stretch. Ah, head between the upper arms and just with one heel to the floor and the other heel to the floor. A little yoga moonwalk here, lifting and Stretching the hamstrings, the back of the legs, ah, and use your chest, use the ribs side to side, and walk in, walk in, walk in, and I'm going to use a belt. So standing up, just my back is curled, no strain in the back, back to standing position. Now I have my belt here, it's a good idea that you carry, just bring one here to for class each day. Sometimes I'll use them, sometimes I won't. We're going to use chest expander and put together a lot of the pieces of the puzzle that we've been working with. If you have a belt or a dish towel, it will do just fine. So look here for a second. Notice how my hands, my fingertips are facing the buttocks. My knuckles are towards the back wall and about hip width apart. Stand tall and now straighten the arms. Straighten the arms, pulling the arms back. Increase the blade squeeze. Good. Increasing the blade squeeze as you lift the chin now. Breathe in. Lift the chin. Exhaling, drop your chin. Notice that I've lifted my arms back 
And now release, release. And just let your arms drain for a moment and feel how good this feels. It really opens up the chest, brings incredible uh, circulation throughout the chest. And that means more energy. All right, again, one more time. Hands to the belt. Pre pull the hands down towards the heels of your feet. But a caution here is take care of your elbows. Squeeze the blades rather than, than stressing the elbows as you lift the arms back. Slowly, try not to lean forward. And then tuck under, inhale, lift the chin, lift. Good, now let's fold forward. Bend the knees, ease them. As you raise the arms over your head, over the head, over the head, good. Everybody's knees are bent, yes, I hope so. And if you'd like to, pull the arms to the right, center, and to the opposite side. Back to center. And release by lifting the chin, long neck and back. As you come up to a standing position, lift up with the breastbone and relax the arms. And just place your belt down on the floor and feet well apart. And we'll just do a forward bend from this position. Put the hands on the hip hinge and fold forward again, easing the knees. Put a hand on a chair, a book, or right on the floor in front of you. And lift one arm out to the side. And up, look at your thumb, exhaling down, slowly down. Are your knees eased? I hope so. Inhaling, lift out to the side and up, pausing, exhaling down, smoothly, easily. And now bring your toes, heels, and toes, heels together and round up, come up a standing position. All right, everybody, let's lie down and bring the knees into your chest for a moment so the lower back stretches out, placing your feet on the floor, and let's prepare now for some relaxation and breathing. Place your body in relaxation pose, tucking the pelvis, arms away from your body, palms turned up, Nose, chin, and breastbone form a line and rotate your shoulders to cradle the spine. Close your eyes and now open the inner eyes of your chest and watch yourself breathe. Watch on the in breath how the chest rises and on the out breath the chest descends. It's rising. It's falling. It's your rhythm and not mine. As you finish your next out breath, contract the navel in slightly. Then let the navel area soften and breath flows in naturally, easily. There is a pause and again exhaling out slowly and the navel pulls in just slightly. And again, softening, filling underneath the collarbone, pause, and exhale slowly and smoothly. And right at the end, you slightly pull in and again, fill the belly area, mid ribs, filling the upper chest, pause, exhaling smoothly, mid ribs contract, lower abdomen, slight contraction, and then let the next breath start itself. Filling, pause, long, slow exhalation out. Continue to breathe at your rhythm, not at mine. The small contraction at the end of the out breath. Let the belly area soften and expand all directions, filling under the collarbone. Exhaling, continue with your even, rhythmical, complete breath. Both nostrils are relaxed. Spacious, expanded in-breath. Long, slow, silky out-breath. Be a good administrator over your breathing. 
the rhythm is even and effortless. And now relax all efforts. Finish your out breath wherever you are and be in your own inner stillness. Continue relaxing, breathing, continue in that stillness, and summarize for yourself. What can you leave right here in the mat? What can you take on with you into your day that's positive, that's nourishing, that gives you balance and joy? Until the next time, namaste.